So, boss dark side. This is the secondary count, and I have uh, level 5 Puppet of Zatanna on Bitman Ninja Catwoman, and level 1 Crown on Robin for the passive stats only. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, see how well it goes. I'm not sure if we can one-shot his ass, but I think we can do some serious damage to him with this team. Like, the biggest concern about this man as far as survival goes is the infinite super move. And I, I'm sure, I'm 99% sure that's a bug that their dumbass is just left in the game. Because you know what happened most likely? They copy-pasted boss Darkseid from Dawn of Apocalypse to here. And while they might have remembered to remove the thing that made his super move kill the entire team, they might not have removed the ability of him to do the super move on and on and on again. By the way, Catwoman is sitting on zero health! Oh boy, the immortality was just about to expire when we tag it. That was, that, that was real close. That was extremely close. Bro. That was something else. I think on the uh, main account we used her with Joe Price Bat Ranks actually. So we're going to see how well Puppet of Zatanna performs. What we would need most is to slow his power generation or lock it, which we do slow with the third special. And I mean, we're not gonna die or anything, but he pushes us to the middle of the field every single time he does super move, and that's kind of annoying. Though I guess with this, uh, we... No, I was gonna say with this, we're gonna have a chance to have the blind modifier applied. The blind from the uh, Puppet of Zatanna, because that's 100% and we might get an easier reset to the corner, but that was not there. We had only the normal blind and we got hit. to reset the special too soon so that's what we're going to look forward to do now okay super move me let's go it missed i'm not sure if i was lucky or we had the puppet blind We're dealing decent damage, like, don't get me wrong, this is decent damage we're dealing here, but uh, we're not gonna be able to get anywhere close to killing this man. And that sucks, because in this case, I should have used uh, something else here to open with, like, a percentage health team. Because now the percentage health teams are going to do worse, because there's less health for them to remove. I was quite confident in this team. A bit, a bit of a letdown, like they still do a good job here, but a bit of a, of a letdown. More like a bit of a letdown in my ability to approximate their performance. Yeah, that's gonna be it. He's gonna reset us to the corner or not because he used the special one before he could. Yeah, this is this is a little bit of a problem, not gonna lie. 100 mil is not, is not a small amount of damage to do. And uh, Batman the Drowned will not survive one super move. We'll see how it goes. So over here we're going to sleep Varnaki. We're going to let Joker die, he's there only to provide us with some additional dot damage. Harley is going to have the uh, Crown of Conduct artifact equipped and EPI is gonna have a Lexcorp Warsuit because, only because that gives me a bit of health. It might give him better odds to survive the super move, because like if we survive it, we can heal afterwards. But I can't use Nora's no Global Region Matrix. I mean, they, they are gonna work, but only once. And after that's done, she's just gonna die. So I need to make sure I do my best so that she doesn't die at all. Also, we need to, and but, but this is luck related as well. We can't 100% control this, but we need to ideally make sure that Harley doesn't. Uh, Get super moved because she's not gonna live. Oh, that's that that's good actually. That we disabled his swipes because he wasted a lot of power. But I wanted to do a special two with Harley.
Okay, let's back off a bit. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I tried to bait the special. No. Oh, this is bad. Oh, they're sun resistant, by the way. Hold on. Can we? Nope. We can't. Bro, bloody parademons. Like, this is the last thing you would need. And a lot of times they think to remove those dumbass mechanics from a lot of bosses. I can't kill it with Harley. But though, if I don't do something, it will kill me. There we go. I said that, that I could not kill it with Harley. Because uh, that would have tagged in Dark Side with full power bars. Okay, we're at full health. We do survive quite easily, actually. A lot of times they remove dumb mechanics of bosses that would make them unfair to fight. But I did not think to remove the parademons from the sub boss dark side. Also, I think I might have forgotten to equip the um, Crown of Conduct on Harley. Because we, I don't see any stacks on her, and her damage does not seem to be increasing at all. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh no, she's got Dark Metal cards. I, I just saw the area popping beneath her. Oh boy, the power of habit. I, I, I came to peace with the fact that I was never gonna use another artifact on Harley that was not Dark Metal cards, and here we are. Equipping Dark Metal cards on Harley by mistake. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll rip. Also, the damage was quite low overall. Like, bots not critting, the, the issue that I was talking about and said that uh, might be happening just on iOS. Like, the, the fight didn't go well either. Like, I'm, I'm not claiming this was the best fight, but boy, that's, that's not proper damage. Nevertheless, maybe I'm just jumping the gun on this. Last thing we're gonna try is battle on the drowns. I mean, for today. I'll, I'll do more things tomorrow and I don't think this kind of one shots. And it's gonna be only better on the drone because last time I tried to get John Stewart Green Lantern in there and then let him die. Uh, him dying damaged her heavily. And our way to... Oh no. Oh, we messed up again. No, we did disable his block. Let's go. I thought he had... Uh, I, I thought he would not be able to disable the block. But the strategy is to disable his block so we can do an infinite combo with Batman Drowned. And yeah, that's all we're gonna do for the entirety of the fight. We can't do super move because then he'll do his super move and we know who will win in that exchange. There's only a 4 star Batman the drum, keep that in mind, and as I said, she is heavily reliant on uh, the attack from artifacts, from passive attack from artifacts, and she's got none of it right now. So this is gonna be very, very underwhelming in terms of damage compared to her usual performance. Not even sure if she's worth using here, but with God here you can definitely get yourself... Uh, an infinite combo going. Maybe the risk of getting John Stewart Green Lantern in there with uh, a, uh, a crown of conduct and getting him killed might have been worth it, considering how low our damage actually is. But yet again, it's too late for that. But it definitely works, this man is not able to do absolutely anything to us. 
I guess if you lack options, if you lack alternatives, you could use this exact gameplay with some third specials mixed in there with Kim Flan Sakomen, and you're gonna be fine. Might showcase that tomorrow, even though it might not be the most optimal thing for me to do right now, because percentage health damage is not gonna do much for, for me from this point on. It's gonna be something that everybody's able to do. Though again, there might be a lot of people who don't have the God Killer, because you need to finish Soul right in order to get that. My nose is itchy, and there's no point in this fight where I can have enough time to scratch my itch. Ah, we got it. Whew, that was a powerful itch, holy shit. I almost messed up because of it. And super move at the end, there we go. Oh boy. Oh, let's go. Ooh, feels so good to be able to scratch your nose, but uh, we're done with the fights uh, for now against boss dark sides. This is sheer damage, but as I said, she really is dependent on passive stats. Hello there, we're back to boss dark side. Amazing. I can't wait for this. Let's use the Batman Ninja team. I would kind of like to open with Batman Ninja Catwoman because last time she almost got killed. So we can uh, get a special 2 in there before she gets tagged out. That will definitely hinder our performance uh, in terms of the dark characters dying because we're gonna inflict blind on him. Bro, chill. That's it, only one damage debuff and uh, damage over time so we heal. It's good to not block that because it will damage the other characters. Oh, it almost killed them! This might actually be faster. Come on, kill Robin before he tags out. Grod most likely triggered immortality as well. Super move. By the way, Puppet of the Town on Batman Jacketman and the level 1 crown of comeback on uh, one of the other two guys. Come on. Ah, he'll struggle to kill Grodd, and Grodd only now triggered Immortality, like, come on, man. I just hope I didn't push him over the Immortality trigger range with that uh, basic attack hit I did by mistake. Now we can go to town on him, Grodd will instantly die on Tagin. So we're fine in that regard. Oh boy, I thought for a second he was gonna summon the Parademon. Like, we can deal with Parademons, but they're nevertheless annoying and waste a lot of times. A lot of time. I'm not sure times can be used as plural in that context specifically. Buckle up, boys! First super move incoming! Bro, chill. Chill. Also, he's blind and got all the hits. He got all the hits in there with a 50% chance to miss. Get me in the corner again. He might die before the next super move. Nah, he didn't die, I lied. Oh, he was close, though. There we go. Dark side is finally down. This took this took long enough. Very annoying boss overall. Even if you'll get patched in the future and no longer have infinite super move, you'll be annoying. 